Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in this video I just wanted to go over Windows 10 Deep Loader once again. Uh, so here I'm downloading it from the website which I'll link in the uh, in the description below. And basically you go in and you extract the files. It's downloaded in a zip file. You have three different PowerShell commands or uh, PowerShell scripts that you can use. Uh, the, the regular bl uh, Deep Loader where it's all in the PowerShell. Uh, the one with the uh, GUI in it, which is a lot easier for, you know, just anybody to use, just has buttons, and that's the one I use here. Uh, so, and I also go into the website to show you the description of each, um, because I was curious about the SysPrep one. Uh, so, uh, on the website, you have the information about the files that you're downloading, and then it shows you the methods to, uh, to start them. So of the three versions, uh, you have the uh, you have an interactive version, a GUI version, and then a pure silent version. So the silent version, uh, it says it utilizes switch parameters, uh, sysprep, debloat, and privacy. The silent version can be used when deploying uh, MDT images and sysprepping or any other way you deploy Windows 10, which is really helpful for um, if you're deploying images to multiple computers uh, across like an organization, you can get rid of the bloatware that's integrated into uh, Windows 10. So um, the next one is the Windows 10 debloater, which is just the standard. Um, it says that the interactive version is what it implies, a Windows 10 debloater script with an interactive prompts. Uh, this one shouldn't be used for deployments that require a silent script. Um, but this one basically just lets you run it as it is. And then the GUI is interactive as well and has uh, buttons to perform the operations. And it is uh, really, really easy. Basically, anyone can do it. So, and this is just going through the website here. So the one I choose, obviously, as I said, is the GUI. So we're going to run with PowerShell. And if you don't run it as administrator, it'll ask you in the beginning uh, if you want to run it as administrator. Um, so you'll see that in just a moment here. So the execution policy change. And here, uh, you just want to select A, yes to all. And then what'll happen is it'll load up a portion of the script and bring up the GUI. So really, you're not gonna see much of the PowerShell. Although the PowerShell is really interesting to watch, especially when you're removing all the bloatware. So you do have a blacklist where you can customize what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. Um, in this case, I'm removing all of it. And uh, after I click it, you see the blue start to go. Basically, the script starts to activate and remove all the bloatware and all the junk that comes with Windows 10. Now, this is a fresh install of Windows 10 1909. And it even though they've gotten better with uh, the bloatware and stuff that they include, it's still not, you know, the best. So, and then here you can see, I'm just going in the start menu, you can see some of them are still pinned. It did get rid of a lot of them. And then I tried to, um, I also removed the uh, registry keys also. And then uh, I did also um, remove the, yeah, I unpinned them from the tiles, but it didn't actually work. <laughs> so um, that was one thing I had to do on my own, but um, you can definitely tell. So if you have a slower computer or you just don't need this stuff, you definitely use this script. Um, it's very simple, um, very easy to use, and uh, really all you have to do is just, it, it's a couple clicks. So I'll leave the um, the link in the description below for this uh, deep loader. And uh, if you're, you know, if you're reinstalling Windows um, or you uh, just installed it recently, you have a bunch of bloatware, or if you have a slower computer, definitely use this. Um, definitely try it out. And uh, hopefully this uh, was a little bit helpful for anybody that's watching. Uh, anyway, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.